Hi everyone, how are you? As I said before, kids always ask me if they can learn to draw animals, especially baby animals. They like kittens, puppies, and pandas. Those are always at the top of my list. So, I'd like to show you how cute they are. It's no wonder that kids love these. Here's a cute puppy. Here's another cute puppy. They come in all shapes and sizes and they're all adorable. I think I'm going to take this puppy and put him in a teacup. I think that would be adorable. So I drew one and here's what I ended up with. So this is what I'm going to teach you kids to do. And of course, we're going to give it a cute Santa hat. All right, so this is how we start with the puppy. But before we start, of course, we're going to need our supplies. You do need a pencil. I recommend two pencils sharpened. We do need an eraser. The back of your eraser has erasers. That's great, but I use up my erasers really fast. You need a sharpener just in case your pencils get dull. Always great to have a black marker of some type. And then something to color with. I like colored pencils. They're my favorite. There's also crayons. And I really like crayons as well. So, your choice. But mostly, and the most important thing, if you have nothing else, is pencil and eraser. Okay, let's get started. I have a very dark pencil so you can see this as best as possible, okay? So we're going to start out with the puppy's head. First thing you want to do is draw a line like this and kind of bring it down like that. I want you to draw, so it looks like a rectangle. I want you to draw a line down the middle. If you have a ruler or a straight edge, you can always use that to draw your line. Okay. I'm going to wait for everybody to get to that point. All right, now. The next thing you want to do is kind of find where his chin is going to be. And puppies usually don't have super long snouts at this point. And we're going to add to this in a little bit anyway, so. Let's erase this clean up my pencil. Now we have a nice base to start with. Let's round up the head a little bit. This line helps keep everything symmetrical. Okay. All right. Now, let's find where our eyes are going to be with a guide. It always helps to have a guideline. My nose is going to be here. My eyes are going to be here. Puppies have a lot of forehead. So we don't want to put the, eye, the eyes up here. We got to keep everything low. All right. So now we're going to draw circles to map out our eyes. kind of wide, maybe two eyes apart here. And the next thing I'd like to do is give him a nose. So actually that line can be part of the nose. The nose is a shape like this. Four-sided shape. And round it up like that. pretty good nose. You can make your nose bigger, smaller. It's up 
to you. Now, to make a line right like that, we're just going to leave that line alone for a minute. Now what I'd like to do is give my puppy some eyelids. So I'm going to do this. Try to make them the same on both sides. Okay. And then I'm going to connect this. I think I'm going to erase that line in the middle and kind of try to erase the the circle line which is like the eyeball basically and now we're going to give it a nice big circle in the center like this don't lose the original circle And then we're going to do sort of a another circle that's going to be a highlight, okay? Okay. The next thing we're going to do, you're going to take from the eye to the nose, like that, and then you're going to go up and around like this. So watch what I do. So you see I had to start up a little bit higher. I'm going to erase that now. And I'm going to make this come down a little more like this. You can always make this rounder if you want. I think I might make it just a little bit rounder. But you don't have to. All of our puppies are going to have a little different personality. Each one of them. Because you know what? We all have different personalities. What we draw also has a different personality because it's coming from us we're not machines and remember we don't it doesn't have to be perfect we're just here to have fun and the more you draw the better you get the more practice you have the better you get and just remember to have fun that's the most important thing I'm going to color in my nose so you can kind of see that and I'm going to color in this part of the eye just because it helps you to see the puppy better. Now the next thing we're going to do, imagine if this line here continues and goes up. Watch what I do. Like that. Like that. Okay. I'm not worried about it being that being too symmetrical. Okay. Next, um, I'm going to round this off a little bit more and it's time for the ears. So the ears come from the top of the head and go down like this. Okay, There's different kind of ears. I mean there's the pointy kind as well. I'm going to show you how to do this kind, the floppy. And then I kind of come down and over. So I did a little sort of curve here, down and over. That may take a little practice, so don't worry if it does. But this dog's ears are a little different than this dog's ears. I'm not worried about that at all, okay? I'm also going to put a line for some color here. 
because my dog is going to have sort of a white, a white uh, area there. Okay. All right. Now for the body and the arms. I'm going to take, go around like this for an arm. this for an arm and I'm going to curve up like this for paws. I think this arm needs to be a little bigger. Flatten it out here like that. Well, maybe it was wrong. Maybe that, that's a little bit too big. between much better okay now after I do that I'm going to lightly sketch an oval let's see I think I'm going to go up with this like this high here and right at the pause Notice how I'm sketching light to get this right, okay? Okay, so let's erase the lines we don't want. I'm going to give him a little body now by doing this. And this. And I actually feel like this should be up just a little bit higher. So if something doesn't look right to you, fix it. would go down this way, find your center, put a handle on it. And now the best part, but let's clean it up first. Oh, and of course we gotta give them finishing touch to the paw. Okay, my favorite part, <clears throat> which isn't the table. My favorite part is putting that Santa hat on. Make it nice and wide. Curve it. Up. Over. Like this. Clean it up. Add some whiskers if you like, but clean up all those pencil marks you don't want. Clean it up really well. Now what I like to do a lot is take my marker or my Sharpie, outline it, and then color it, or sometimes pencil is the nicest. Okay. Um, I'm going to give him some quick whiskers by doing, you could just do dots like that and be done. Or you can add whiskers. Now I have 
my twin puppies. And this was my reference that I was looking at. But they are so adorable. Love them. If you like doing a puppy, watch my how to draw a panda. Or how to draw a kitten. And enjoy the rest of your day. Have fun coloring. And have a very happy holiday. Bye now.